Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch some Jujutsu Kaisen. Where last time we had our first episode, Ryomen Sakuna. Where Yuji Itatori is a high school student with incredible athleticism and sports talent. Yuji's grandfather tells him to use his strength to help others just before his death. Megumi Fushiguro, a student from Tokyo Metropolitan Magical Technical College, a massive mouthful, uh, is tasked with searching for a cursed object, a finger of Ryoman Sakuna, a powerful supernatural monster known as a curse. Megumi tracks uh, Yuji down, having sensed the finger's energy from him. As curses attack them and Yuji's friends, Megumi fights back and Yuji, recalling his grandfather's last words, joins him. As Megumi is overwhelmed, Yuji eats the finger in an attempt to save Megumi and his friends. This causes him to be possessed by the murderous Sakuna. Yuji easily suppresses Sakuna, but Megumi declares that he has become a curse and prepares to exorcise him. So that was our last time. Theta, what are your thoughts right now? Well, I mean, I, uh, I went and grabbed all those names that you listed. Just so I could like put down like a description thing about them, so mm -hmm. that I'd be able to keep track of as things go on, who's who, and be easily able to remember them. Uh, I did not realize, by the way, that the guy at the very beginning of the episode that's keeping uh, Yuji captive is actually not Megumi. Right, a, a different character with like a different aspect. Well, I'm just gonna say it now. His name is Satoru. Gojo. He's the person you would have seen in like any of the art for this show because he shows up all over the fucking place. Right. So real cool guy, supposed to be important. Uh and we know that eventually we get to the point where Yuji is going to be captured and held down and everything and going to be there with Gojo. Uh but we ain't there yet, and I guess the story's gonna tell us how we get there. Oh well, yeah. Um, also, this uh, takes place in Sendai City, which is a real place. It's the oh, capital cool. city of Miyagi pre Prefecture. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, uh, just adding more uh, stone face to yeah, reactions. Voice actor, Hall of Famer is to the list. Alright, who we got today? People that I've kept off since we hadn't uh, started this show yet, so I didn't want to mention them. Yeah. Uh, our main character here, Yuji is uh, voiced by Junya Inokai, uh, who also played Martin Upmount from The Witch from Mercury. So that's right, our main character is Martin. Hell yeah, Martin getting the respect he deserves. Uh, who also played uh, Shota Oi in uh, Tokyo 24th Ward. That's the blue guy, if you remember. Ah, blue guy, of course. So he's been our, uh, our moral high ground in at least two different shows in the past. And let's go for number three. Uh, let's see. Yuma Uchida, who plays uh, Megumi here in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh -huh. also played your favorite character from Tokyo 24th Ward. Ah, red guy. Rei Nakagagi. Uh, and also played my favorite, one of my favorite characters from Iron Blooded Orphans, Ayn Dalton. Hey, there you go. The guy who died three times. <laughs> And I uh, only wanted to mention, since we'd seen the guy, we just hadn't get told his name yet, that we also have uh, Yuichi Nakamaru, who plays Satoru Gojo, the guy we saw at the very beginning of the last episode, who also played Daybreak in Spy X Family, mm -hmm. and Wataru uh, Chigushi in uh, Tokyo 24th Ward. That's right. All of these characters... We're also in Tokyo 24th Ward. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, in this series, we should be looking for uh, dead children put into machines, right? I have no fucking idea. Again, <laughs> this is Bleach meets My Hero Academia. Some people meets I've Naruto. seen... Yeah, some people I've seen say uh, it's uh, Bleach meets Naruto. Mm -hmm. But I assume they only mean, like, real early stuff. Since, you know, Naruto leaves the whole Academy thing real early. Naruto gets bonkers after its time skip. That's all I'm saying. But if you want, like, my core Naruto experience is still basically up to the Chunin exam. 
which encapsulates Naruto for me, which is wildly different from what it became. I watched it up to near the end of Shippuden, when Naruto mm -hmm. becomes a self-indulgent asshole. And as I said, oh, okay. I don't like the main character enough to keep watching. Mm. Whereas I'm still watching Bleach. Like, <laughs> a Thousand Year Blood War is amazing, and I am watching it on my own right now. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I feel like one of the things that holds Naruto back is just Naruto being a little bit annoying most of the time. Well, I'll explain it, and then we can move on to the show proper. Uh, sure. Naruto... Everybody is literally sacrificing their lives to keep Naruto out of the war. Like, if they get your power, they'll kill us all. We can't let Naruto get out there and do everything. So people are fucking dying. And Naruto's like, no, I have to fight too. And then runs out disobeying everybody, just throwing all the lives that have died so that mm -hmm. he didn't go into the battle away. Your deaths are now meaningless because I think it's more important that I'm able to fight. I can't separate my... I mean, the fact that they probably would have lost the war if Naruto didn't join doesn't matter to me. It's that <laughs> self-indulgence of... Well, if they could have expressed that in any other way other than Naruto rushing in and literally fighting people for, the, for his own ability to fight in the war... It's like so fucking annoying, and I hate the character at that moment. Uh, that's that's understandable, at least the way you describe it. Uh, but before we keep hating on Naruto, what we got for Jujutsu Kaisen here? And well, I literally just said I'll finish this and we'll watch the show. So you shouldn't have exactly. even have segued. Just get into the show. All right, let's just go ahead and get into the show then. So before we go ahead and get started, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some of the uh, early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all sports channel, just a little bit extra. Click that link below, drop in the Discord, tell us which one your uh, favorite was of the big three. <laughs> Bro, I just got some sick tats. You just assumed the guy's trying to trick you. I mean, given what we've seen, that's a fair assumption, right? That's it, みんなに見せやった。ごめん、それ。俺食べちゃった。マジ。マジ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>本当だ混じってるよ。受ける。体に異常は。もう別に少なと変われるかい少な。君が食ったのは。10秒だ。10秒経ったら戻っておいで。でも大丈夫。僕最強だから。um, I might be preemptively calling Gojo as a favor just because he seems like a being of chaos. It's fine if you call your favorite early, it leaves everybody open for me. Uh, and he's dead already, damn. How the fuck did that happen? Good question. Answer, he can flash them. When you flash step is the first thing you tend to learn. Oh, I like the combat animations. Oh yeah, that was so cool. The show also loves hurling people around too, which I can, I can never get enough of that. 
だからどうという話でもないか七、八、九、そろそろかなくそ、まただ、乗っ取れないこの板取りとかいう構造一体何者だお大丈夫だった驚いた本当に制御できてるよでもちょっとうるせんだよな well, for... for seconds, time, それで住んでるのが奇跡だよ、oh. ha, killed your brain. 何したんですか気絶させたのこれで目覚めた時スクナに体を奪われていなかったら彼には器の可能性があるさてここで彼をどうするべきかな仮に器だとしても呪術規定に乗っ取れば板取りは死刑対象ですでも死なせたくありませんでもでも死なせたくありません死状死状ですなんとかしてください。<laughs> かわいい生徒の頼みだ。任せなさい。Time to violate the law. Now back to the beginning of the first episode. I'm going to go to the first episode. I'm going to go to the first episode. I'm going to go to the first episode. これは君が食べた呪物と同じものだ。全部で20本。うちではそのうちの6本を保有して。What did fingers this man have? Oh, t e o s h i d Well, he has two sets of eyes, so he must have like four arms and thus four hands. Oh, yeah. I guess. So they're counting thumbs as fingers? Wait, are thumbs not fingers? No. Are thumbs not fingers? Thumbs or thumbs? I, 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 I can't respond to that. Well, I mean, it's kind of like having a Yeah, so he has a built in power up mechanic. Find more fingers. Gotta guzzle that glizzy. Oh, okay. I don't know anything happened to that guy. Uh, he did get like his face possessed. That's a weird looking hand. It's like his pinky is dislocated from his ring finger. あいつらは化け物じゃなくて呪いなんだ。あの指は特級呪物って言って呪いを寄せたり強くする効果があったんだよ。だから悪いのは先輩じゃなくて、あれを拾ってきた俺だよ。So much for keeping up the masquerade, I guess. There's no masquerade. I never introduced that concept. But it also doesn't seem like common knowledge. Megumi just like straight up told people he was looking for cursed objects and shit the moment he showed up. He never hid that or said anything about having to not talk about it. Oh, 
今回はかなり特殊なケースだけど被害の規模だけで言ったらザラにあるかな呪いに遭遇して普通に死ねたら御の字ぐちゃぐちゃにされても死体が見つかればまだマシってもんだあージーズ少なの捜索をする I mean, compared to what we just saw like Fate Zero <laughs> Bug pit shit, yeah. Yeah. Never, never going back to the bug pit theta. He can't make me. That's all, that's all they do is make you. <laughs> oh, are they Buddhist? I know the act of uh, picking the bones out of uh, cremated remains with chopsticks is a Buddhist tradition. Uh, I guess he must be then. I just don't know if it's specifically only a Buddhist tradition. I'm thinking probably not great to have a bunch of bone shards in the urn either, so... Can we not do this in the crematorium? <laughs> yeah, next year, Grandfather's Ashes. Wrong! Pipe! Well, at least if you die here, we got an easy way to get rid of the body, you know? He's a special boy. Something you've not said once during Ranking of Kings. How dare I be asked to help people? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So Jujutsu is the name of the curse thing. Curse fighting thing. Yeah. Takes really can't stay with the screen. <laughs> they they try and え、山の中だな。本当に東京東京も郊外はこんなんよ。牛黒は術師の治療を受けて今はぐっすりさ。東京都立呪術高等専門学校。日本に2校しかない呪術教育機関の1校。表向きには私立の宗教系学校とさ
interrupt every single wake and moan of yours with screaming. Yeah, I did it to you with mutants and masterminds. <laughs> Cool, so now we have a little bit of Chainsaw Man in here with the Gun Devil. We just gotta mix of literally everything here, don't we? All he needs to do now is go Super Saiyan as well. そういう操作取る。8分遅刻だ。攻める <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. That's a pull. Oh, we now what, know what the author likes. What era this is supposed to be in? Must be the 90s for Jennifer Lawrence. We still haven't seen a cell phone yet, have we? No, no, we totally did. We saw like a whole iPhone.事件事故病気君の知らない人間が日々死んでいくのは当たり前のことだ始まったそれが呪いの被害となると感化できないというわけかそういう遺言なんでねお魔界ことはどうでもいいっす俺はとにかく人を助けたいでも、<笑> Disqualified, and now you will be executed. Please enjoy these dolls. So... Almost like a necromancer. Really? <laughs> Just straight from a different series now. Yeah, because he has a uh, superhuman strength or athletic ability anyway. You're still stuffing on the inside. <laughs> yeah, I don't think punching it will necessarily do much to her. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, crazy if he got handled. <笑>まだ死刑を先延ばすためだと言われた方が納得がいく。ざけんな。俺は君は自分が呪いに殺された時もそうやって祖父のせいにするのか。いや、I <笑> Still大変バイトウェイ。死に際の心の利用を想像するのは難しい。だがこれだけは断言できる。今のままだと大好きな祖父を呪うことになるかもしれんぞ。呪術師に悔いのない死などない。今一度。That's fair. Everybody. I don't think anybody dies without regret. <笑><笑> Muskarashitonami 
飯食って風呂入って漫画読んでふと気持ちが変わる。ああ、今スクナのせいで人が死んでるかもなってへこんで、俺には関係ねえ。俺のせいじゃねえって、自分に言い聞かせるのか。そんなのごめんだね。自分が死ぬ時のことは分からんけど生き様で後悔はしたくない Still hugging my doll. <laughs> 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 Those are pipes, by the way. <laughs> It's weird that this is a technical college, given its subject matter. ボロボロの伏黒が指届ける絵面は受けるけどな。確かに。<笑>ま、君が戦わないなんてことはありえないんだけどね。あ、試したな。お、そんな簡単に見つかるなら、とっくに全部見つけてるっちゅう話。気配が大きすぎるもの、息を潜めているもの、すでに呪霊に取り込まれているもの。私は no idea what the thumbs are。ということに関して、これほど面倒なものもない。でも、今は君がいる。君の中のスクナが力を取り戻すために指のありかを教えてくれる。君は、私は、gun devil thing with the gun parts or a t r a c t e d to the other gun parts of it. Yeah. The same mythology and stuff. そこはウィンウィンの関係が気づけると思う。隣かよ。お不思議だ今度こそ元気そうだな。空室なんていくらでもあったでしょう。だって賑やかな方がいいでしょ良かれと授業と任務で十分です、うん、ありがた迷惑おおおちゃんとして How dare you try to socialize me, he says 迷惑だっつーのはいまっいっしょそれより明日はお出かけだよ三人目の一年生を迎えに行きます At the bus station No train station It's like they're kissing. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, just like such the sim、uh, simple thing, just the two trains connecting, just drop animated so well. Ah,、uh, I love it. <laughs> Are you Stardust? Uh, clearly the name of the next big idol band or something. <laughs> well, they want to be scouted. <laughs> But they're going to first the year school.、Here. This is cute.、Uh, It's active. Yeah, no. They're... Again, we're still just in the intros of a series and we're just getting introduced to people. But I think I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, Gojo's going to be a favorite. Sassy, chaotic, lots I mean, of fun. You basically picked the first person you saw. I picked the first being of chaos I saw, thank you very much. <laughs> no, you literally, this first episode started with Gojo. He was the first person of the show that you saw. Look, we got Yuji, we had Yuji's friends,、uh, and we had, um, sorry,、uh, Megumi here as well. And everyone else is like more serious and straight laced than Gojo is. Gojo is just crazy. <laughs> Even the principal is just like absolutely no nonsense, but just has a hobby. All the characters are interesting, but not one of them I think so far I'd put on like、mm -hmm. favorite. No one's striking me as favorite material yet.、Uh, right now, I'm only going to bet the panda might、uh, pop up as like a secondary favorite. I mean, with a name or a description of Girl of Steel, possibly. But I'll also remind 
that if we're like dipping into like our bleach roots here, yeah, that uh, Kenpachi didn't show up for a good thirty or so episodes. So, uh, yeah, you're not gonna get your Kenpachi until we like hit season twenty here, you know. Uh, but Girl of Steel, you know, somehow I start thinking about Superman from that, but you know, I know I'm not gonna get it. I mean, I imagine it has something to do with weaponry. Yeah, that probably makes a lot more sense. I think we saw a couple of those the uh, next time. And, well, we're at least getting our first mission. We're going to see how they actually do when they're serious. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I... Why would you say they're getting their first mission? Because they're going to a place and it looks like they're exercising something and they're doing it together. Could be school. Oh. Uh, you think it's just a training mission? Training well, they, still, they, they just said uh, classes and stuff are still just too much mm-hmm. as it is, and there's she's the first year that they're going to gather, and it seems like she's been off somewhere else. Mm. So, could be that she still has to be brought into school. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, I, I'm curious about the world, about the school, how things actually operate, and we still don't have a super clear view about that. I well, think I was talking you literally don't have to be confused or in- sorry, interested about the world. As I've told mm-hmm. you, it's a real place. It's <laughs> the world really, is real? Oh, no. <laughs> it's the real world, and it's the real place. So, oh, you can go to Google Maps and be less interested, because you can All find right. it. All right, everyone. Uh, catch us up on our real blog when we go over to Japan and like do a tour for Jujutsu Kaisen. I told you what prefecture it was, where it's located. You can... You can go to Street View and see it. Hey, there you go. Street View tour. Let's do it. All right, then. Uh, Do we have anything left to say? I've heard that this show has the most confusing and in-depth power structures of any show, so... Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have to get into that, then. Where do the dolls rank on the power scale? (laughs) That's going to come up as a question. I don't know. Maybe one we of them's a yet. panda. <laughs> and we have a panda. No, I'm saying All maybe right. one of the dolls is a panda. Hmm. All right, then. So I think that's where we go ahead and going to call it for today. This has been Stone Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta. And we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?